Hello and welcome to Callum Park for today's Evo Stick Premier League Division clash between AFC Files and Frickley Athletic. Frickley have had a different season to File this season. Frickley currently sit in 18th in the league, whilst File are up in 5th. File are still chasing promotion, but Saturday's loss at home to Stafford Rangers was a big blow. They'll be without Brad Barnes for the next few games and are currently 6 points behind Witten and FC United, and only 1 ahead of Russia Olympic. Fylde came into the game six points behind Witten Albion and FC United of Manchester, following their loss at home to Stafford Rangers on Saturday. Frickley came to Kelmer Park sat in 18th in the league, and only having won one of their last six, they were in need of a win. Sean Cook started brightest for the Coasters, coming up with two early chances, but the keeper was equal to both. Disaster struck for Frickley, however, as keeper Jamie Green landed badly on his leg after a routine catch. He was down for several minutes, but played on despite the injury affecting his performance. Frickley began to create chances, and when Jamie Booten's shot on the turn struck the foul crossbar, they began to gain momentum. Yet again, Fylde's defensive frailty showed as they failed to clear a loose ball in the area, and Chris Wood was on hand to turn the ball in and make it 1-0. The lead only lasted three minutes, however, as what seemed like a fairly easy to handle shot by Michael Barnes found its way past Green to level it up. During injury time in the first half, Fylde finally took the lead. Jimmy McCarthy jumped higher than anyone and turned Sean Cook's corner in to make it 2-1 heading into the break. Both teams created chances early in the second half. First, Frickley came close to Jamie Wooten, whose close range shot was turned away by Hinchliffe. Shortly after, Sean Cook got through one on one with the goalkeeper, but couldn't find a clear way through to the net. It was level once again with just over 15 minutes left after a ball into the box found substitute Jason Yates in plenty of room in the box to head back across goal and past Hinchliffe. Files felt they should have had a penalty when Glenn Steele was brought down in the area, but the referee saw nothing wrong with the challenge. Cook almost scored a contender for goal of the season very late on after his long range shot was dipping, but unfortunately just dipped onto the bar. But the game was won deep into injury time, when Cook again sent a great ball into the area, which Barnes headed into the path of Farrell to tap home from five yards out, and send Kelmer Park into a state of ecstasy. stopped at sort of 80, 85, between 85 and 90 minutes, we probably have between 7 and 10 extra points, we've had, we have conceded goals um, last minute that have cost us, cost us games, um, 
So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's, not, it's, it's good to be on the end of a, of a, of a on the reverse, if you like. Um, it was just a, again, we, we were in Alec really, it was a difficult game. It just seemed, a, it seemed an edginess, which, um, we're obviously coming into the business end of the season, but we've had to be, to be experienced enough. Um, and we're probably trying too hard to, too hard to win a game, and teams aren't gonna make it easy. We didn't pass it as well as we'd liked. Um, obviously give them a goal, um, which again was disappointing. Second half, not a whole lot going on, but again you just get one of them, you get one of them feelings. Um, and, and obviously they look at the score again from another cross, which is, is disappointing. And, and then we sort of probably created more chances in the last two minutes than we created in the rest of the game, to be fair. Um, we've players that can hurt them, and if we get them on the ball in the right areas, they'll always cause, cause problems and create chances for us, but we can't. Um, we can't be expecting to win three games to win a game of football, um, certainly between now and the end of the season. Um, if we continue to do that, we're going to come on stuff. But at the end of the day, it's three points and it takes us three points closer to where we want to be. And we've got a massive, massive game on, on Thursday now to look forward to. Uh, well, talking of the Stocksbridge game, uh, what do you think your chances are in that game? Well, it's obviously uh, it's a, it's a massive game for us. Um, we want to get to our target as, as, as quickly as we can. So we can assess where we're at um, and hopefully look forward to the playoffs. Um, like I say, it's, it's really important what we do. If we take care of business Thursday and Saturday, then no matter what the teams do, we're guaranteed a playoff place. We know that. Um, Thursday's, a, Thursday's a massive game for us in terms of it puts us very, very close if we can go there and win. But it'll be a, a, a difficult game the way um, Stocksbury play. Um, they've had a good run themselves, um, obviously got themselves Away from away from danger and probably sees them safe now. Um, whereas probably two weeks earlier um, they were fighting for the live, but they've picked up some good results. So there's no pressure on them. We've got a lot of lot to play for, um, and we've got to go in there and, and put a performance on. Um, and hopefully um, we come out victorious, more comfortably than we did tonight. But we know it's going to be a, a tough shift required.